Well hello everybody, welcome back to Santa Switch Adapted Toys. We're going to be doing an uh, adaption here. We're going to take this Fisher Price Llama and we're going to uh, connect it up with a cable for a Switch Adapted Toy. So for that we need the, uh, the toy obviously. Cable we're going to put in. I'm going to be using a drill here shortly to put a, a hole in here to get the cable inside. I've already removed all the screws out of the back. There was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I couldn't get that one out of there, so but it's okay. And we're going to uh, let's see if we can activate it. All right. So by turning this dial here on the side, it activates music and runs a preset program. So we're going to go inside and activate it by using this switch or this this point here. So with all the screws out I'm going to recommend that when you open this up you remove the blue part of the body first. A little bit of... they, they, they do these very very nicely. Good, good snug fits. But if we can remove the blue part here first off the back, you'll see that the wires go to the battery, battery pack on the one side. And this is, forget this, this is nothing to our uh, adapting. But that allows us now a little more comfort to take this apart. And so, let's see. We can kind of pry this to the side, and this wheel, when it uh, turns, it's got uh, extrusion on it that it activates on the switch that's right here. So that's where we're going to be adapting. And the easiest way to adapt, adapt that is to go ahead and take that switch out. We'll put it in here with the other ones. And I'm going to zoom in. We are adapting it at this point right here. So I'm going to take that out for a moment. It's got two fairly close together. They're fairly close together on the wiring. Uh, connections here. There's three points on that switch and we're going to use the two that the wires are already connected to. Okay. So now that we see what we're doing I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to gain access for my switch. To the new hole that we drilled down here. Again, a knot. Keep it from coming out accidentally or being pulled. And we'll solder it back on again. Okay, we got a solder. Let's test the toy. It works just fine. Okay, let's put it back together. Let's see if I can follow the right sequence this time. Okay. 
Does that look better? Yes, it does. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe. And you will be notified when our video comes up. Yeah, I missed a mistake again, didn't I? One of the reasons you put all the hardware into the same bowl is so that you don't accidentally misplace something. And if you put it back together and there's missing parts, and you open it back up, and you put the missing parts back in. There's extra parts. This was being used to hold that switch down. Okay. Did it again, didn't I? Okay. Punch the button. All the parts. Okay. Now we can finish it up. A long video because I was making mistakes. Okay. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying before, if you like the videos, um, hit like. If you want to share them, please do, because our goal is to get into the community as much help as we can. And uh, if you subscribe, then you'll be notified when I put out a new video, which I try to do uh, every once in a while. <laughs> so, alright, I'll put these back together off camera. Alright, thank you folks. Have a wonderful day.